Are employers required to conduct human rights due diligence in their global operations? The scope and scale of many employers' global operations and their global supply chains are expanding. This expansion has led to a greater focus on the risk of corporate human rights abuses such as forced labor, child labor, and other forms of modern slavery. To address these human rights abuses, there are an increasing number of jurisdictions passing laws that place obligations on employers that sit at the top of global supply chains. The precursor to these recent laws was a set of non-binding guidelines called the United Nations Guiding Principles on Business and Human Rights. These guidelines stated that companies may not violate human rights, that they exercise due diligence to avoid or mitigate such violations, and when violations do occur, that they provide effective access to remedies. Many companies voluntarily follow these guidelines to address human rights risks. But various actors, including certain governments, sought to transform the soft law nature of the UN guiding principles into hard law. The current wave of laws in this space are mandatory due diligence laws. These laws require disclosures and also require companies to conduct due diligence of their global operations to identify, mitigate, and prevent human rights risks. This due diligence includes, for example, mapping the company's global supply chain, putting in place certain corporate policies that place obligations on suppliers to respect human rights, instituting a complaints mechanism for all stakeholders, auditing suppliers' operations, and terminating suppliers' contracts if any human rights abuses occur. Many European Union countries have already enacted these mandatory due diligence laws. These laws that place human rights obligations on employers are only increasing in number and complexity. The exercise of addressing human rights abuses in a company's global operations poses financial, logistical, and cultural challenges, which vary depending on the size, industry, and geographic location of the company. So there is no one-size-fits-all solution here. Instead, employers should engage internal stakeholders and experience counsel in the complex, risk-specific exercise of ensuring that their global operations comply with their human rights obligations. To learn more, connect with your favorite Littler attorney or visit littler.com for more information.